Acarbos. Never heard of it? Probably not. It was FDA approved in 1995 and it's off patent. So it's inexpensive but effective. So let's look at the research. Hi, if you're new to my channel, my name's Brian and I practiced in women's health for 30 years. And I spent a significant time dealing with hormone imbalances and glucose intolerance, as well as reversing type 2 diabetes. Acarbose was FDA approved in 1995 for management of type 2 diabetes, and it works as an inhibitor of an enzyme called alpha glucosidase to inhibit the uptake of glucose from the food you eat. Pretty much everybody over 35 in the United States has some amount of glucose intolerance, meaning they are chronically elevated in their insulin response and glucose response to what they eat. And if that's left uncorrected, that can turn into type 2 diabetes. The ability to handle glucose goes down as we age, as evidenced by this graph. Here is a comparison of glucose and insulin response with and without a carbose at the beginning of each meal. Research scientists have investigated a carbose for uses other than type 2 diabetes management. And one of those includes a reduction in cardiovascular event risk. In 2003, the results of a multinational, multi center double blind trial showed a reduction in cardiovascular risk and events in patients taking a carbose 100 milligrams three times a day at the start of each of three meals compared to placebo. Here are the benefits that have been studied and the proposed benefits on cardiovascular risk using a carbose. Cardiovascular risk reduction is not an FDA approved use of acarbose. So what else has been studied? Well, acarbose has been studied in metabolic syndrome, obesity management, weight management, hypertension, and boosting the immune system. Acarbose was deliberately selected for use in the National Institute of Aging's intervention program because of its mechanism of action on glucose metabolism. And they found in animal studies a 22% longer lifespan in male mice and 17% longer in female mice. So now there's investigation into the anti-aging properties and lengthening of lifespan using acarbose. Acarbose seems to reduce glucose absorption by inhibiting that enzyme and also reducing the insulin spike from food. And it works better as a powder. And fortunately, it tastes sweet. The problem with all of these type of medications is the side effects. And the most common one with acarpos is flatulence. So in order to get the benefit potentially of cardiovascular risk reduction and weight management and reduction in BMI, the dose seems to be 100 milligrams three times a day at the start of each meal. So you have to work up to it. It comes in 25, 50, and 100 milligram varieties that can be chewed at the onset of a meal. I looked up the good RX uh, price for acarbose in my area, and 100 milligrams, number 90 tablets, is $25. If you get a fasting insulin level checked and it's over eight, you're starting to get insulin resistance and you need some help with managing glucose. If you don't know how to get your own labs, send me an email. If you want help managing insulin resistance, get in touch with me through my website at healthwithoutrisk.com or send me an email. Have a great day. Ask your doctor about acarbose and see what they say and I'll talk to you later. Bye.